Paddy, uh, scale of Paddy. 1 to 10, how hungover are you right now? Uh, yeah, I'd go close to 10. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long night, but it's, uh, it's all worth it. It's, um, it's been great fun. I've had a fair few mates here and obviously family to celebrate. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a weird feeling me being outside so early, but uh, it's all worth it. <laughs> Mate, thank you so much for getting yourself out of bed, if you actually went to bed, to be with us this morning. But I want to ask you what this means to you, this award. I know your family and your... The, the hugs with your mum and your dad, and I think it was your brother as well afterwards. Just just take us through those moments afterwards with your family, who I know mean so much to you. Oh, look, it's, um, you know, we've always loved footy growing up, and we're from a small country town, and, um, you know, I always remember watching the Brownlow as a kid, and, um, you know, to play AFL um, is a dream come true, and then, you know, you, you win, you know, the Brownlow medal, you know, you, you never dream of that stuff. And um, I'm always really close to my family and my fiance and, um, you know, we're, uh, yeah, you, you sort of ride the highs and lows with them together. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of lows um, in my career, but there's also been some great highs and, and, and last night was one of those. So um, it's always great to share with, with family. Yeah, you've battled a lot of injuries over your time, Paddy. Yeah, what does that mean to, to come through that and be standing there with that Brownlow around your neck? Yeah, it's um, oh, it's it's obviously a massive honour. I was sort of going to this year, you know, there's a lot of chatter sort of around my body and things like that. But mm. um, I sort of went into the air, just um, put my head down, and I knew what I was capable of, and it sort of wasn't really proving people wrong. I was sort of proving myself right in a way that um, you know I knew I was capable of what I could do. And um, you know, I'm a big believer in your off season sets up your pre season, and your pre season sets up your season. So you know, last year I just put my head down and. Uh, put myself in the best position to attack pre-season and um, I was able to complete a full pre-season and um, that led to a, to a good year. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, there's no secret to, I suppose, success. It's just a lot of hard work and, yeah. um, you know, you just got to keep backing that up year after year. Well, 20 goals this year, amazing. Season high for you. Hey, you came ninth, the, the Mighty Blues, this year. What do you got to do? What are you how do you turn it around for next season? Uh, yeah, it was um, a tough pill to swallow, not going to lie. We, um, I've never played in the final before, but um, you know, the last game of the year was as close to a final atmosphere as you can get. But um, you know, we, we played some really really good footy this year. I've got a lot of belief in the group, and um, it's probably a game situation, game awareness that we probably need to work on a little bit in the, in the pre-season. But um, you know, with the talent on our list, and I know how hard the guys work, and um, I'm really confident going into next year. Good on you, mate. How much sleep have you had just out of interest, Paddy? Uh, if you look at my eyes, you can probably tell not a lot. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm crying out for a bit of sleep right now. But, um, no, nah, you, you got to do it. It's all worth it um, when you're in the Brownlow. So, um, just got to keep punching out the next few few hours, and then I'll be, uh, I'll be eating the PLO pretty quick. Good on you, mate. Well done. Um, I know one bloke in particular knows his way around turning up the next day. Whatever happened the night before, and that man's Carl Stefanovic. Um, Carl, do you have any advice for uh, for young Paddy? Yeah, I just wanted to say, Cripsy, uh, well done, my friend. Uh, we've been following you um, really well this year, and, and you just had a terrific year. But one thing I will give advice to you, if you're staying at Crown, you're going to an awards ceremony the night before, just make sure you don't leave your eyes in the villa when you come down, down to do the cross. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, not going to lie, mate, my eyes, once I have two beers, so I'm done, so uh, you can probably tell my eyes, uh, I left my eyes definitely in the count last night. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a legend. I think you've outlogged, Carl. <laughs>